Wow. Check out me see, being able to see that. Oh, contest. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Although, how far are you supposed to see? In Like, with Let's good eyes. With, with good eyes. Okay. Um, because now I'm under the impression that I'm supposed to be seeing like five miles away, and I think my contacts don't work because I can't see into the. the well, next you know city. what 2020 means, right? Vision. You yeah. can see 20 feet in front of you. I don't think that's what it means. No, that's what it means. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and intro for me. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. I'm Brooke. This is Connor, <laughs> and we have a special guest on today. Uh, one of our closest friends. Mm -hmm. We grew up together. Um, we were in the army <laughs> with her for a short time. We were in love in the army. Yeah. And we did stand up in the army. That, yeah. That's where I actually got into stand up. Mm -hmm. Um, you, and then, what? and then, well, I mean, I don't want to get into all that before she comes out. Okay. I'll let her take the baton from me when she gets in here, but she's a comedian. She's an actress. She's a jack of all trades. Um, she's. And here she comes. And here she comes. Give it up for, yep, <laughs> give it and, up for And she'll, she'll come out right now. What? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Hi, Connor. Are you ready to MAP? I'm ready to pee. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own, and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just going to dive right in today. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, Grace. Hey, Grace. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, my gosh. Of course. I um, Had you given me just a couple more minutes back there, I was thinking of climbing up. On the ladders and, dro and dropping from above, kind Damn of spider it. Spider Man style. Yeah, That'd lady. Very, very, Would not have been awesome. Cool. I think this chair could have kept me from breaking. A well, surely you know this is the Kelly Clarkson Wayfair collection. Oh, is it? Surely, <laughs> right? Really this is cool. Yes, it is. Scream the set oh, is screaming. That's Kelly. I'm so sorry. That's a that's a that's a BNC custom. This is Kelly. Clark this is that's Kelly Clarkson Kelly. Yeah. collection from Wayfair. Yeah. Dot com. But the BNC custom would have also been. No, justice. this is really good. This is yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. We gave you a little bit of an intro about being actress, comedian, army vet. Army, yeah. Yeah. Um. So and we're working. You guys brought up the army. So we brought quick. up the army, and we're working on being better about. Yeah giving more info so is there anything else you want to say about comedy or the army or anything else i guess that our time in the army was really short but it was super meaningful right and would we be podcasters here today without our time in the army all together the three of us i mean that's one thing that they don't tell you about dishonorably discharging is that know. sometimes you're called to do something dishonorably discharged so much yeah. more meaningful and sometimes that just means right. putting a mic in your hand and we yeah. were the first people ever to to pod in the in the field exactly yeah. exactly it was yeah. really cool and really exciting and the people in the army didn't really believe us when we said it was gonna be huge <laughs> yeah i mean look at them now yeah no i actually have nothing else to really say about myself which is an exciting um thing about confidence mm -hmm. well i can say that grace is my favorite person on the internet and i really mean that and i'm not just saying that and i think you're the only person that has ever made me laugh without saying anything. I honestly feel the exact same way about you guys, and it's kind of annoying. Well, we say too much. No, you but you guys are so, like, we found a really, like, beautiful love, spiritual connection yeah. with each other yeah. back in COVID. It was. Yeah, it was I back in COVID. I That's so it. weird. I know. And there's so many people that I feel like I know from the internet, too. I feel like, to what you just said, I'm like... I feel like we know we've known we've met each other once. Like I know in person, it's besides, crazy. I, I have this is we this is my met. first this yeah. is our first time. Oh, this is Holy Bill's first time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We met crazy. after I had six drinks at the Rolling Stones I party. I think I might have also had six, which is awesome. Yeah, because we chose to take our first photos together in a in a bean bag. Yes, you're right. Yeah, on the ground in a bean at a at the Rolling Stones party. Oh, I was okay. Earlier, I was trying to remember what that party was. I don't know. Still, well, I just what know was it? it was the Rolling Stones party with bean bags. The band. No. <laughs> the magazine. Although we do okay. go to the band's parties too. Wow, very well, cool. that was a <laughs> Wow, that's a that was back in the army. No, it was I was so kind of drunk at that party yeah. that mm -hmm. 
there were fake $100 bills in the pool. And I literally convinced myself they were real. And I put three in my pocket. Yeah. And I was like, go to the bottom of the pool. How LA is for influencers. Yeah. No, they were floating on top. Okay. They were floating right. I didn't have to get too wet. Okay. Perfect. And then I was telling everyone, I was like, I can't believe this guy, DJ Pee Wee. It's just only doing Anderson Pack songs. I know. And he's not getting in tr- he's not even remixing them. Right. I come to find out DJ Pee Wee is Anderson. Anderson Pack. Pack. Yeah. I fig- I figured out. Did I listen to the music at all? No. Was you that probably the, the biggest pull? Yeah, That's probably. Right he's the one in cahoots with Bruno Mars, right? That's right. Okay. Are they they're in cahoots. Oh, because they're in a band together. Silk yeah. Sonic, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of like you two in this podcast. Exactly. I guess so. Kind yeah, you could say that. You, aren't you guys the Silk B-A- Sonic of the B-A- podcast B-A-N- world? Yes. We have heard. That's not the first time we've heard I'm, that. Right? And I'm not surprised. No. I must Getting have read that in an article. Merch. I probably read that in a feature about you guys. It was probably in Rolling Stone. It was probably in Rolling it. Stone, yeah. Yeah. We're constantly <laughs> getting the Silk Sonic of, of podcasts right. yeah. over here. I need a wig. We should wear more wigs on here. What are I we doing? Was j- Connor, I was just thinking about how when I turn 70, I want to start wearing wigs. I think you should. You yeah. would look amazing in wigs. Thank you, Grace. I kind of think so, too. I think I it might my be your, your complexion. That's so sweet. Just like perfectly tan. I think you can really rock any neon I color. Would, I was thinking green, pink, yeah. purple, because I know my hair is going to start falling out. Sure. So I might as well. You already know that now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Four, By four. 70, just fully out. By 70, yeah. Yeah. On my 69th birthday, probably it'll start. Right, right. Yeah. Do you think you could ever do a buzz cut? No. I have actually yeah. thought a lot about that since Florence Pugh shaved her head. Because I right. think, like, if I did that, like, it would be un- it would like seem unwell. It, she like, did that I would without be anyone batting an eye. No one, ba- and she looks gorgeous. It's crazy how, the difference between celebrities shaving their heads. Britney Spears like in absolute trouble. Uh-huh. Florence Pugh is like she must be doing better than she ever has. Yeah, been. yeah, that's so interesting. She carries She's herself. finally got a head on her shoulders. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she carries herself in a way that supports a buzz cut. Yeah, I I posted a video the other day, a Memorial Day, with a bald filter on, and every comment, although it was a filter, hurt my feelings so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. They were like, never, fucking. I think I lost several hundred followers because they were like, that is so fucking gross that sucks. filters are so dangerous though i one time messaged a friend and was like your body looks amazing and he was like i photoshopped the whole thing yeah he, he posted a shirtless selfie as a joke mm-hmm. with abs and i thought they were real and i Ooh. complimented him that's that's when i'm like you know what i that's why i fi- don't filters do you it. can't do because then you're yeah. gonna see me and go oh i know that sucks unless it's a filter of just like angel wings behind you yeah. Or little devil. Oh, I've always been yeah, I've always been the biggest Those advocate are safe. of of biblical filters. Totally. But um it's so funny because I actually it's a weird segue into this conversation, sure. but you just reminded me. I was out this weekend and I there was someone that I kind of know uh-huh. through someone else. And we're not super close or anything, but we were at a birthday party and she goes, Oh, like, did you know that I had like the biggest crush on you? What's her first and last name? I'm not gonna say that, but and when I was, was like, the, when did the crush take place? Uh, I've only known this person for a year and she is like, so it must have been right the first time we met and it was a year ago and we've not hung out in the year. Uh-huh. But I was like, oh, you used to have a huge crush on me. Like, and now we're friends and you know we can tell each other that. And she I, she goes, yeah. And I was like, what, ha- what happened? <laughs> oh, no. I didn't even know. She goes, oh, no, I just got to know you a little bit. And oh. Uh, and I was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. That, yeah. that has happened so many times, but not in like a crush perspective, more in like uh, meet someone for the first time and we're like internet friends and then I never hear from them I'm again. I'm jealous yeah. of you because people like see you and they're like, oh, I like him and then get to know you and then don't. But it's like they like what they see. You know, they just don't it's like your good personality. Starting spot. You should they just don't like your personality. for that. I wish that people would like me for what, I look like instead of what's inside, oh, you know. God. Totally. That. Um, <laughs> so t- I'm, take it I'm as sitting a in my therapist chair right now. Yeah, yeah so this what, is couples therapy. What kind yeah, of you yeah. have for us about our personalities versus our looks. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. How would you? Okay, if you had to rank yourself, I guess we won't go on physical ranking. But if you had to rank your personality, that's a good. I question. would really hope you both rate yourselves highly. That's a. Uh, hmm. It depends. <laughs> oh, I think it depends God, on like guys. What about my personnel? Like, because I think there are some parts that are really concerning. Totally. You know? Okay. And then some parts are that are those... sweet. Okay. Okay. Got it. So, Sour I Patch Kid vibe. And I actually totally. think all of the sweet, like quirky 
good things about my personality come from a really dark place. You know, they're kind of like covering something <laughs> up. So do you think it's like, are we averaging at a five then? Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to go six for go me, six? but okay, because great. I'm a narcissist. Do you, act, do you I think you're a narcissist? Probably a little bit, yeah. I think, I think But I think the self-awareness of being a narcissist probably knocks me down <laughs> a little bit. Hey, a little bit, a little bit less it. of a narcissist. Totally. I actually heard, if you can yeah. admit it, then you're not sociopath, right? Right. Or But there's also that saying that self-awareness I guess we'll never know. <laughs> self-awareness doesn't absolve you of anything. I've heard that too. Really? Okay. That's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. I mean, you it, you would think you could com- what if it, then why have I been self aware of all my yeah, flaws? Yeah, we could I should have been just thing completely to death. naive. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. people think like, oh yeah, like let's say you're a shitty person, which, yeah. which of course you're not. But people think like, oh if I'm a shitty person, but I'm self aware, then that's fine. But it's actually not because you're still a shitty person. Mm. You know, I guess that's like it reminds me of when a guy's like, yeah, I'm a cheater. But, but I'm you did a hundred, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Then it's like, yeah, no, 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 it doesn't take anything. Yeah, it doesn't take. I just anything. yeah. yeah. But, Oof. That's, Oof. A t- that's a tough comparison moving from me to a guy that says he's... <laughs> I was just trying to think, what's the closest thing to you? No, I'm kidding. A self-admitted cheater. <laughs> um, totally, by the way. That's mm-hmm. awesome. What would you rate your personality, do you think? <sighs> I mean, like, I think I would have said eight before this conversation and hearing you guys be so self-aware. Mm-hmm. I think I also have to knock down to a six. No, Grace. Yeah, I think... And I do think it might come back down to narcissism. Oh, you think you're a narcissist too? Oh, well, I think I have to be a little bit. Yeah. That's actually, we went on this podcast and what did that guy say to you that was like kind of a little bit concerning about stand up when he was like, you either think, oh, he said you either think you're the funniest person in the room or you're okay with wasting people's time. Whoa. Which is a crazy dichotomy of like, it's either this or this because it's, it's, it's not. really neither. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's part of the reason I... I would never do stand up. Well, also most stand up is really just barely above mediocre. Yeah. yeah. So if they all thought they're the funniest person in in the room, it would really suck. That's true. You could just be like, "Well, I'm not the f- funniest person in the world, but I'm practicing." Yeah. Yeah. Right. My take on stand up is I'm just kind of going out there and going, "I just hope they like me enough to to laugh." Yeah. And yeah. that's really what I go out there for. Yeah. And like comparison is the thief of joy sure. unless you compare yourself to people that are worse than you which is what i focus mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. and when i think about it, i'm like oh i didn't get absolute belly laughter the entire time yeah. i think about i had a consistent chuckle and it was from different groups of people that like different jokes that's great and it and then you think about that afterwards it's like there was never dead silence which i've seen happen to people oh yeah and i'm like okay then that's fine mm-hmm. have you ever had dead silence yeah, what, no. probably my, yeah, I have like one very specific time that I bombed and it was because I was like miserable going on stage. Really? Like I've kind of convinced myself that my stand up is going to be good if like I'm having fun yep. before I go uh-huh. on. Like if either the green room is a good vibe or like I know people there in the show or something and I was so nervous to do the show and like there was just nowhere to hide like uh-huh. before going on you just had to stand in the audience and i went i don't think i smiled <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i let out like even a little smile the entire set and i knew 30 seconds in this is going to fucking suck that- and i could turn around but i didn't but that's funny oh, i th- maybe i think so it's talking a little about funny. it yeah yeah but like in the moment i was like this is so horrible well at least you were self aware <laughs> 100%. So true. Very so good. true. <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all in one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything your products, content you create, and even your time. Have you guys heard of a square? How about a space? Well, Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content, content and expertise in a way that fits their brand with members' areas. You can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Squarespace also allows you to display posts from your social profiles on your website and automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Grow your business through insights, learn where your site visits and sales are coming from, and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Yep, 100%, Brooke. Thank you so much. 
you guys need to check out squarespace.com slash B and C for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code B A N D C to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's offer code B and C to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Yeah. Cause I've, I've had times where twice I've been like, yeah, I know this is going bad. Yeah. And I'm just like, is anyone mad at me right now? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And it, when that doesn't work, it's just like, okay, get through the next eight minutes and I then know. kill yourself in the parking lot. Uh-huh. Yeah. At least, at or least you, on stage at this point. <laughs> right. To change a trajectory of everyone's lives in the room. Yeah. It's also very clear after a show if I'm like getting the fuck out of the venue. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm like, then even if I think I did well, I probably didn't do that well. If I'm like unwilling to see <laughs> a single audience member, I'm like, I didn't do very good. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I've done that twice. Mm-hmm. Left. Yeah. Do you record your sets like on your phone or anything? Yeah, but I can't watch them. I know. I still can't watch them. And I was actually talking about it to someone today <laughs> because they're like, how come you don't post your stand up clips yeah. anywhere? Which probably would in- increase ticket sales if I would show 100%. Get people a t- yeah. But I got one gnarly comment on one of the bits that I posted somewhere. And it was like, why don't, why are you posting this before you've like perfected this bit oh god because you're i'll obviously you know you like work on stuff and you yeah. do my watch is turned towards me which i've never <laughs> seen <laughs> i thought that was a spider <laughs> i down dude i was like no that's why i was feeling off i did a bunch of mushrooms that before. means you're slimming if your wrists are yeah you must have yeah. lost some weight in the last 15 have. minutes it's because i'm going like this oh. i'm losing weight out of my left arm <laughs> but i forgot uh, oh so i'm like okay i don't want to i don't want to post these clips yet because of this one person but i could it could also matt rife it you know where like his clips just took off and took off and took off totally no it really is i posted a clip recently and like six comments were why are people laughing before she even says anything and i'm like because they were having a good time and that's what i was saying about because they were just giggling and there's a two drink minimum (laughs) yeah exactly they're wasted and also you're funny before you open your mouth yeah. well i just i that's what i'm go back to is i just want people to be having a yeah. good time yeah they, are, I'm not, and they are also like i'm not like punchline joke right like that i can't do like i was at the bar the other day and bada bing bada boom that's what you, you know? do cha-ching i feel like you do okay. Connor's just selling knock no, knock jokes th- like <laughs> <laughs> um i have not looked into any equation for writing jokes yet. Totally. And so I'm still unsure if I'm doing it efficiently <laughs> or even right. So fair. I'm still not sure. I was doing stand up wrong for a year and I, what, I'm like, what, what were you doing that was wrong? I d- wasn't telling jokes. I was like telling made up stories that, oh, no. like, it was like I oh, would no. get laughs. <laughs> oh, is that what you're doing? That That's seems right to me. <laughs> no, I'm like, I. All of that material from that year, I, I you could not pay me to do it again. Really? Yeah, like I'm positive that it only like kind of worked because I think I was having fun again. Yeah. But like I'm sure it was not stand up. But your made up stories are like like the stories about you and the art or your husband coming back from totally, like yeah. that. But my my family about and your my boy, kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. and your kids and I can do that now, but the way I was doing it like the first year I did stand up was like, oh God. As an example, would it be like a made up, like there's a punchline, then you have to just make up a story around it I was doing that leads some, up to it? I was doing some fucking insane, like seven and a half minute fake stories. That's what I do, Grace. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying to no. hear what your, what your thing is and why it was I'll wrong. I'll literally like send you a clip from okay, like please. 2021 I and have to you'll, it. you'll be cringing. The whole why time. didn't it work? I'm confused. I don't, I really what can't. What is stand up supposed to be then? I think that. I, bada bing, bada boom. Well, to me also, I feel like I've learned that if someone goes to the bathroom right before my set and they come back a minute into my set, uh-huh. they need to be able to kind of understand what's going on. So, but okay. because of my seven and a half minute stories, yeah. I basically lost anyone, even if they zoned out for a minute. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. My that and that's how mine are. They all kind of lead into each other. Mm-hmm. So okay, I'll be giving up. <laughs> No, you shouldn't be giving up. Maybe you have a completely different style than me. I don't think so. It sounds pretty <laughs> much sounds exactly pretty much exactly the same. What if I had seen you do stand up multiple times and I just came on here to like kind of help you? <laughs> like Brooke hired you. <laughs> I've As seen you do it. I think three times now. Ooh, one doesn't count because she had a vat of wine. Hey, I that was, I was nervous. I, was I do so nervous. Hey, a lot of you. people do a lot of things on a vat of wine, Connor. 
And I, so you counts. was doing a lot of I, things on the bed. I, want I get to stage fright for other people. Totally. Yeah. So I had gone to the bar and that's really common. Yeah. No, it's really bad. Like yeah. I and when I get nervous, like it's like oh I will throw like I'm going right. to throw up. It's not just like oh I have butterflies. It's like I. So I was kind of just trying to take the precautions that I needed to make sure that right. I could be there for you. It's just as hard for Brooke it, when you. Hey, really I know. Yeah. So I had some, <laughs> anything some, I can do. Some to... black wine. Yeah, at, like yeah. super, super like red. Super. Mm-mm. It was like kind of like black wine. It was like dark gray. It was like black. <laughs> That like just full one sip stained your teeth, and it was in. Yeah, yes. she, she, she looked like it's she like gritty. Yeah, she looked like she had yes. been feeding. Yeah, totally. And it was like in a um really huge jug. Too. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so I yeah. had one to six glasses. Was it like Carlo always, Rossi we are or something? We're constantly talking about huge jugs on this podcast. Oh, that's oh, true. I love that. We are obsessed with huge jugs. I love huge jugs as well. We're Me always too. It, huge it, jug it, cast. Yeah, yeah, of course. Everything always comes back to massive cans yeah. or jugs, whatever cool. you, whatever floats your boat. Uh-huh. Um, we're more of a jug family. Mm. <sighs> well, I was just going to say about your stand up from what I remember is it is joke, joke, joke. joke. Yeah, see? Joke. Well, like you said, a lot of it is personality. Like if people are laughing before mm-hmm. the punchline because there's little things in there that like, yeah. um, I'm still, when I see, when I see myself do it, I'm like, that's not even me still. Like, <laughs> uh, it's yeah. different from videos. It's different with the podcast. It's like a different, and I'm, I can't figure it out. Like I'm right. still watching game tape back and yeah. I'm like, huh, definitely need to stop pacing. Sure. I'll, on the stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I almost tripped over a. Right. Oh, a mic wire last week. Bummer. You tripped at yeah. the one when I had the wine as I'm well. I'm constantly tripping. Yeah. I'm tripping yeah, balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always fidgeting with like the. I'm doing it now. Even. I love this little. Thing. Oh, I'm. Yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love a string. Damn. So here's, a string or something. Here's to fidget a question. With. Yeah. Grace. Yeah. Have you ever had? Because I feel like you're in a space for like comedians who maybe you would admire mm. or would also admire you. Mm. Have you ever been in a situation where a comedian that you love has come to see you and you're like kind of freaked a little bit, maybe mm, not the one time that I was like, uh, I got like a DM one time from a comedian. I really like after she saw me perform. So that was like, I mean the That's best, cool. best possible best way. I mean, could it have been nicer? Um, but then again, the one time I I really bombed was for a it was two comedians their show that Ooh. I like really have loved forever. No. Yeah, but what are you gonna do Nothing. honestly? And well, I think that you just have to rely on being charming and nice. Exactly. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You have there, to. I can't be mean after bombing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, right. I gotta lose all ego. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going back in the green room. That's that's where I'm killing it. Is backstage <laughs> yeah, before my exactly, yeah, exactly. I'm like talking to other people. <laughs> There was a, at that Bill Burr show, yeah. Rory Scovel was there and he was so nice. And then he followed me and DM'd me. And that was the nicest thing ever because he's yeah. so funny. He's so funny. And so nice. Like unbelievably I'm not, funny. I'm not used to people being actually nice yeah. from living in yeah, LA for a couple of years. That is scary when that yeah. happens. I'm used to people being like, oh my God, how are you? And then never talking to them oh, again right. type thing. So that was really nice. I had, um, this is pretty, not quite on the same page, but... Maybe like three months ago, I had a like very famous actor. She um, liked an Instagram comment of mine on some other celebrities' uh, Instagram, okay. and so I was like, "Holy fuck! This actor knows who I am!" <laughs> yeah. Right? I literally like w- sat next to this actor at a concert the other day made eye contact with her multiple times. She has no fucking clue who I am, mm-hmm. and I spent about three months convincing myself like. She's not following me back yet because she's playing it kind of cool. We always she could have been playing it cool when she didn't look at you. I I'm like you know the difference. She it was like looking through a ghost. No, we, she had no idea who. Maybe I was. she was maybe she was high on something. Um, we always talk about how social media is so much like you get that one mm-hmm. notification that gives you a high for like three or four days. Uh-huh. And just like, what's next? I know. It's really crazy. You get a follow or you get like a DM or something from somebody. And then it's like, mm-hmm. you forget that this, you know, like some major person follows you. You forget <laughs> and you're like, who's next? Exactly. Yeah. Get over like here. Short spurts of like almost n- nothing. I know. Yeah. Yeah. What sucks is like all it takes for me to get really excited about someone like commenting on myself is just like them being famous. Like even if I don't necessarily like, like them at all. Oh, Do you ever have someone, totally. you ever someone, have someone that like likes your video and you Google them? You're like, oh, wait, oh. I, do, I love them. 
Well, I didn't realize they're in Riverdale. Yeah, you're like, like, I've never seen that show, but I've always thought that I would like it if I put the time and effort into watch it. That's what happened to me with Joey King. Joey <laughs> Joey King commented on one of my on one of my videos example. and she was like, I love you. And I was like, you know what? I actually am obsessed with you as well. And I've always and I and I've always kind of said that about Joey King. Right. You're just like looking at Google images going, I I've always loved this outfit on her. And then I was like, Oh my god, I love I love Joey King, obsessed with her, followed her, and then she didn't follow me back. And I was like, Then you were lying. When you I know. you were lying actually. to I my know. face when you commented I love you on my video and then I unfollowed. She really commented that. Some, she really had the nerve. She really had the yeah hmm. something along those lines of right. I love you. <laughs> we look back and the comment was like Hey, take hey. this down. <laughs> <laughs> this is an infringement of my right. <laughs> yeah, but oh, I have bummer. always loved Joey. Guys, one second there. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Guess what? FOMO is a real thing, and sometimes I want to say yes to everything, but mm -hmm. it's just like not possible for me anymore, especially with like Instagram stories and stuff. Like, you want to stay inside, you want to like take it easy, and then you get on Instagram stories and you're like, oh, I'm going to die if I don't go places. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin, yes, and burned out, yes. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Personally, I'm a big fan of therapy. I've learned a lot about myself and how to handle my emotions through the process. With therapy, I've learned how to set boundaries to become the best version of myself and balance the time I spend with myself and with my friends to reach my highest potential. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Yep, yep, yep. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash B and C today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash B A N D C. Do you have anybody that, yeah, I think we all, this yeah. is always, you know, this is a, yeah. a Joey safe space. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, was gonna, oh, have you had anybody, like you've been in the space for, a good amount of time right like is there anybody that's been like a really cool experience mine just changed that's why we had this conversation last week really cool oh. experience yeah what is yours yeah take it away well i was at acl and james marsden was there <gasps> and at the time i was like this was pre-jury this is lol worthy like how random that james marsden's here totally. he was so nice and there was just a group of us and he we were all moving together as a unit um and he was in the vicinity with us for not with us directly but like you know i was chatting with him and totally he was i think by himself and uh we took a picture together or whatever and i was like that's funny and then now that's one of the coolest interactions yeah. i've had mm -hmm. because of jerry dude because i didn't have the appreciation i have for i now. know mm -hmm. so now that interaction has moved up on my tone right to one that i tell people about whereas right. before i was like L O L. but that's probably for the best because you had like it you didn't have any no sort expectation. of expectation. Yeah. Exactly. Or like you you could have said something that you were like, fuck, I wish I didn't say that because you were too like in your head about it. Yeah. Whereas in that moment, you weren't in your head at all because you well, didn't was, really care. I'm not really an in my head person about what I'm going to say. Hence, Louis Capaldi. What did you Well, you didn't him? care about Louis Capaldi. I was just bl literally but you blackout will when drunk. He's in jury duty. I had been good. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Jury duty season two. I had this like top period of my life where i would like have a few drinks and then think everybody was lewis Capaldi. yeah i kind of remember seeing that on your instagram yeah story. and then there was this one night where i'd had a few drinks and i was like here's another lewis capaldi and you really and then i you know took a picture with fake lewis capaldi post it but it was it actually turned out to be oh the real God. the you real really lewis didn't know no because i had been thinking i've been seeing lewis capaldi I knew, everywhere totally. i knew it was him. right 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 did you yeah yeah he was really just a, nicest guy yeah that's amazing yeah. to hear yeah that's the weird thing about la is like anyone could be a celebrity mm -hmm. literally driving here today i saw someone i was like oh that's Haley steinfeld and no it was just a brunette girl. it was just a brunette <laughs> <laughs> but like it was so close and i wouldn't be surprised if that's happened to hundreds of people in la that happened to me the other day when i saw kylie jenner and i didn't realize that she drove a rav4 wait you Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, that's how convincing that Kylie yeah, Jenner was. Yeah. You just fooled me. Yeah, I, like, I huh. took I took a picture with Paul McCartney outside of Costco, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a woman. It was a, it was yeah. a 
Yeah. Not Paul McCartney. Yeah, you just have to be on your toes. You know who's a really easy um, celebrity look like? There's just, he has hundreds of doppelgangers. It's Stanley Tucci. Because you really just have to be yeah, a medium build bald guy yeah. wearing a, a mediocre to good outfit. Yeah. 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 You could, I see you, them all over. You could, honestly. Yeah. yeah. The you city could, of Tucci. You could, you could be really bald do. and then fall into a Zara head mm-hmm. first and then come out <laughs> you're Stanley uh-huh. Tucci. Exactly it. Um, he actually him, is an incredible, an incredible I follow him man. on Instagram. He's, un- yeah. fucking believable. He's unbelievable. I mean, Devil Wears Prada to Hunger Games. wears P uh, to uh, HG, <laughs> that pipeline. <laughs> beyond it's crazy like and that is a career his chefing abilities as well oh i'm, I'm, right. I'm loving watching the millennial pause which is millennial pause you you guys know what millennial pause no, is I right don't. millennial I, pause is when when you start a tiktok video or something and you you're looking <laughs> at the camera oh, for like yeah, 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 five yeah, seconds yeah. like <laughs> hey guys so today we're gonna be making and he's oh he's he waits forever and then it's like but he's right in doing so because if you don't do that, it cuts you off. Yeah, uh, it's it's just the millennial pause. I don't know what to say. No, it, I, there are so like Jeff Goldblum does that too. Actually, yeah, yeah it's weird. It, maybe it's just like a, a man in your in your fifties who like <laughs> you're like still learning how to talk almost. It's, it's really just like exciting. It's, it's just a, this innate instinct to not trust that the camera has started <laughs> recording, even though you push the button. But they're a hundred percent right because if I were to open my Instagram and start talking right away, the first bit would get cut off. Totally. I mean, if you're scrolling with your sound on, it would start. The sound would start when it's supposed to. Not really. I'm, I'm now. I'm not following along anymore. Okay. <laughs> I I'm just and I was not even dogging on him. It's endearing when he does it. When my dad Absolutely. does it. Jail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Daddy, you'll never be still a two. <laughs> no matter how hard you try, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Give up. Are Stanley Tucci and Jeff Gold is it Gold Blum or Gold Bloom? Bloom. Are are they mm. friends? It's Blum. Bl- Gold Blum. I think it's Blum. I don't know which one it is, but I Gold I'd Blum. like to imagine they have to be friends. They like yeah, but I don't know. There's something about again like men at that age. I'm like, do they even have friends? You know, like I do. I feel like they have their family, and like I think they'd shake hands and maybe be like, all right. They're the same genre. You know yeah, who has friends? So, I wonder if they're competitors. Yeah. You know who has friends? Yeah. Mm. Larry David. Yeah, for he sure. He has friends. For sure. Well, I sent you that Dumois post of him. He was just golfing with Zac Efron. Yep. With in, Zac in Z- with Efron. In, in can, you, can you imagine? Who Immediate. is making that connection? Yeah. Larry. Well, Larry was <laughs> also crazy. dining with Tim, Timmy C. I know. Well, Remember that? Yeah. Well, Timmy C is. That was pretty huge for everyone. That was, that was pretty massive. That was really that was crazy. Pretty big. Yeah. What did they talk about? That's that's an improv. He, no. That, you, yeah. you two do it. You do stand up. Okay. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Do you want to be Larry I think D? I, need, I think Timmy I need C. to be Timothy because I don't think I can do a Larry David. You're- all all I think about when I think of Timothy Chalamet and an impression is uh, Benny Drama's impression of. I know. Uh, which is yeah. Really good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I, okay. Okay. I'm gonna try. Let me. Okay. I'm gonna try to. And I'm gonna watch. What are we? Are, <laughs> wait. Are you? That's are, I just Larry. started. Oh, I'm Larry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And where where are they? I'm just trying to stay. I'm just trying to stay as humble as I can. <laughs> with, yeah. With, all right. With this crazy life that I've been given. <laughs> this, ta- this table's uh, close to the street, right? Table's kind of close to the street. It is, but it's not the w- the waiter's fault. In, in fact, I I actually have started tipping twenty one percent. I don't know. Do you get that? I kind of get that street smell when I'm sitting this close to the street. The street's right there, and we're here. It's not <laughs> scary. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's not say a car. You could you could have one person who, who decides to drive their car through it, and we're we're toast. To- to- that's what I'll order. The toast. <laughs> I'm like, I may have been closer to doing a Larry David, honestly. That no, that really was good, <laughs> you guys. Because look at it, look at his face in this picture. Like that is, you that know, is what he's sounding. You know, like. the table's wobbling. Also, I, I know. I was gonna say yeah. wobbly, but I was like, he already did that. He looks so. I. He's so like handsy in a positive way. No, I. Wait, like, don't you just which, think that he he would just like touch her shoulder, which is a very clear like you're my friend move. Yeah, and you'd be like, he wants to fuck me. One hundred percent. Really bad. Wait, Timothy Chalamet or yeah. Larry David? Timothy Chalamet. Oh, I'm sorry. I was 
getting horny for Larry over here. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I, I horny for Larry. Completely. That was yeah. on me. You guys are in the right there. No, um, no worries. Do, is he drinking that espresso martini or is that someone else? I don't think Larry could support an espresso martini. I have to say, I don't think his, he's it's got the system. Fi- I don't you think don't he's got really? the facilities for it. Yeah. Mental or physical? I think his heart would give out. I think he might be able to do a matcha. Oh, yeah. Because it's a little bit of a... And he's been in LA for so long. Uh Uh-huh. I think he might be able to do that. I will say, I saw him live last summer or something, and he he was seeming... You could see his age. Oh, he you? was shivering. And, That's no good to hear. And yeah, no, it was scary. Oh, oh he yeah, hates, yeah, yeah. He hates sound. Yeah, yeah. he's just <laughs> like me. Yeah. Um, I, I think I told this story on the podcast, but he was golfing over in like near the Palisades, mm-hmm. and someone was behind him. And he is talking to this like 16 year old that's working in a golf course, and he's getting a bucket of balls to go to the driving range. Bucket of balls. <laughs> bucket of balls, and. I guess it was eleven dollars for the bucket of balls, and that's how it's how much it's always been. Yeah. And he's talking to a sixteen year old. He's like, "Why eleven? Because now I got the ten, and I'm gonna give you a one, and then I'm gonna have nine dollars. Why not fifteen? Why he not ten? Is literally him like that is his it, character. Yeah. What it's an crazy. What an awesome si- living situation where you're just like yourself, and it know. you get two shows essentially written about you. Literally, and I will say, I don't. I have never. S- encountered an instance where he's been wrong i don't think mm. i think that's pretty fair i'm waiting for someone to be like bub, 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 bub. oh he's no. been canceled for something horrible well, no someone oh was he canceled no, I'm talking no, no. About, like more so he's that... uncancelable it yeah, doesn't matter what he does he, he doesn't care yeah if you don't care about getting canceled you are uncancelled right right right. that's how it works yeah. and he doesn't give a shark uh-uh he can't he can't yeah. no i don't think i've ever disagreed with him is what i'm saying yeah, yeah. well it sucks like if he was diagnosed with something, I would unfortunately be like, "Oh, I need, I am also that," because like the OCD parts, <laughs> the irritability, oh, sure. like all that stuff. I'm like, I, and for, you, to your it's point, Jewish. I know he's diagnosed. I need Jewish. to, I yeah, need to do 23 in me. <laughs> you think you're Jewish? I, I know I have some Ashkenazi in me, no. and you're at least. just not at all. No, there's no way. Prom, totally. I don't think you do. I know, but I have all of. This, that like irritability and stuff. You don't. You're super friendly. Since I, well, I can hide <laughs> it really well. That's what it comes down to. Well, anytime I'm like a little bit, sh- not short with someone, but there was this one instance where this guy, I had driven into um, some sort of secure power plant by accident because yeah. I was just trying to, I was trying to turn around and I got like, lost. Huge fire. We'll get into that later. And I got lost and I was just like going through a, a security checkpoint gate to yeah. turn around. I had got, I was, Hey, we're on your out side. Of sorts. And this guy throws himself in front of my car, starts screaming at me and I start screaming back because it was, he was being rude. Yeah, of course. And Connor's like, Brooke, Brooke, stop it. Like, stop it. Like really mad at me for like raising my voice at him. That, is not you don't have a Jewish bone in your body. <laughs> you can't be Jewish. Yeah, I've never seen little Brooke <laughs> sitting in her cart being so crazy. Honestly, I was, like <laughs> he was. He so, yelled so, first. Started gaslighting. He yelled first. I was He's a security guard, and you're driving into a power plant. Yeah, what I was. To do? Can I help you? That is literally his job to figure out. How, like he's like, guy, what are you doing? Yeah, he he's was. I'm like, oh, turning around. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I, I, I was like, we're just we're just making a U turn here. And she's like, ah, da, 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 and they're like going at each other's throats. And I was like, we're just gonna, we are gonna get out of here. I'm not faulting you, but you say you're Larry David. Mm. But where's Larry? Larry would have gotten out of the car and socked him in the face. Yeah. In that mm. moment. One thing about Larry is he's not a fighter. Sure. No, but he would have gotten out of the car. He would have, right yeah. About that. Yeah, he would have done something drastic. <laughs> What's crazy about Larry is that like he's able to do those things because he's a billionaire. Mm. That's why he can say what he says. <laughs> I mean, and act right. the way he does. Yeah, but he wasn't always a billionaire, and he's always been this way. Hmm. Hmm. I you guess know? we'll never know. Yeah, we need to get you guys need to get a childhood friend of Larry's on the podcast. Yeah, or Larry. Or That's Larry. An where I would be. Able I don't to think talk. it's entirely insane. To think that we could at least get a FaceTime from him. I think I, that's insane. No, I don't think. I, it is. No, I, I think, think that's the narcissism talking. Huh. I don't think it is. I think it could happen. I mean, we have a peer in in um, Cassie David, someone our age. Yeah, I've never never met her, interacted with her, but yeah. someone our age. I've read her book. 
That, yeah, I didn't. I lied to you. Just I watched a. I, I've seen her book in a bookstore. Totally, so. totally. I think that's awesome yeah. and a really good start. You should definitely tell her that. <laughs> I, will, I will. She's someone who I guess I am kind of a narcissist because like I'll follow her and unfollow her fifty times because I'm like she must not have seen that I followed her. So she's n- of course it's has no such idea. Too why bummer I am. that we're like this, you guys. I know. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could unhardwire that part of my brain that thinks that like our Instagrams have value. Really. Yeah. What. The thing about right. un- unhardwiring your brain is that I don't think a lobotomy would even change me. No way. I think you'd be surprised. I think I'd be exactly <laughs> the same. Maybe worse. Right. That could be a fun challenge. Yeah. Get a lobotomy and see what happens. I watched an episode of The Good Doctor recently where they did a lobotomy, like some sort of frontal lobe. Okay. You watch The Good Doctor. Well, I've been I watched TikTok clips of that. Oh, okay. That's my so whole you're not watching page. at on ABC. No, I'm not like tuning into the. <laughs> okay. yeah, I will say because I've heard you talk about The Good Doctor before, oh, I'm and I'm like, what's going on with that? She's in her her Good Doctor era. Good Doctor <laughs> house yeah. and Chicago Med. But like, okay. I won't turn on the TV. I'll just be like, okay, it's TV time, and I'll go on TikTok and just scroll through the episodes. And it's is it their TikTok or someone has uploaded the all? Of it's it. like a movie clip four, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, I love. I mean, I've watched full movies. Yeah. through those clips. I well, cannot the, you know, say enough a, good things a, about those A movie those TV is just shows. a collection of clips, <laughs> and it's just yeah. one. The big, whole movie long, isn't always TikToks. good. Yeah, the clips are always good. I know mm-hmm. it's true. Mm-hmm. It's true. And boy, is my attention span getting smaller on the daily and i seriously feel like we're not that far off from just going to the movies and it's nicole kidman and she's just scrolling through her fyp on a live stream yeah i think that's really for three fair. hours i that's am fair. getting like ha- like dr house do you know dr house is, has a name and it's gregory no Mm-mm. dr well, house is in the doctor with on the house. cane <laughs> okay house. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. gregory <laughs> house gregory. but i'm getting like thirst thirst traps like like really? um like uh hot like songs and then like clips of him like with his shirt kind of coming up a little bit and his cane <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't hate it. I don't no, he's actually he's, a good looking he's a good guy. looking guy. What's his what's the actor's name? Hugh Laurie. Look at his blue he's eyes. In, <laughs> Why what's up? He's in Veep. He's in his sixties now. He was good in Veep too. He's so talented and he's British in real life. Oh. Is he? Yes, and you would never know because Bam. he's such a sh- Yeah, there's nothing that American. makes me feel talentless. Yeah. More talentless than hearing uh who I thought was an American be not American. Good doctor as well as British. Who's who's the most Wait, that What's his n- little Freddie name? Highmore. Freddie Highmore. What's, British. His, what's that? What's his little tiny name? Mm-hmm. <laughs> because he's like still like eight to me, you uh-huh. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I feel like you wear a Freddie Highmore stand. Is of that true? Course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I know, I know. But do you, you still love him now? Yeah. Okay. Especially now with The Good Doctor. Totally. That's, you know that show's still going. I do know because I watch something and it and it comes up. I think maybe it comes up after The Bachelor. Yeah, he just had a baby on oh, the right. show. I saw that. He's like married or yeah. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm just upset. no grays to me. You know what yeah. I mean? I kind of want to see fucking and sucking a little bit. They are is fucking and sucking. That's really? the thing. Yes. Really? Yes, they take you through his whole journey. Of okay. learning how to fuck as well. Are you fuck. like seeing him shirtless at all? No. Yeah. I wish. Yeah. But no. <laughs> hey, you can find that on Google. Don't I worry. bet you could you could find that anywhere. Right. My friend told me yesterday that actually this is probably not a good thing to say, so never mind, I won't say it. Okay, good. totally. Yeah. Good self awareness. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we'll completely you. move on from that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder this is gross to say too. It's okay. I wonder like I was like, Oh, you could also just AI him shirtless if you wanted to. But yeah. like how is that? Not illegal. Well, how, do you think well, AI, how would one go about doing that if one wanted to? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just close our I eyes for know. a minute and have Connor walk us through how to do that. Um, Isn't it cool that you're, if you close your eyes, your brain becomes AI, like you're AIing? Yeah, that is true. Speak of it. In our Wait. little imagination. Yeah. Oh. Hold up, y'all. We want to take a... <laughs> We want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, one of my favorites, Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every single month. Vitamins can make a huge difference in how you feel. We are always saying that about vitamins, and Care Of recognizes they're only a little bit of a piece of the puzzle. So Care Of just updated their companion app with new features that help you build a holistic daily wellness routine and track how your routine is working over time. With Care Of, you take a short, in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals for a personalized doctor back recommendation. The quiz can be retaken at any time to switch up your packs as your lifestyle and needs change. After I took my quiz, 
I was recommended magnesium. Yeah. And since I've started to incorporate it into my routine, I've noticed a difference in my muscle recovery and sleep. I know, and I'm always saying I've, magnesium and sleep are good. I've hand been texting hand. you about my my muscle recovery. Yeah. I was also recommended a multivitamin to help fill in the gaps in my day to day health and build a strong foundation. Oh, I didn't even say I'm going to Idaho on on Wednesday. OMG. I'm on, yeah, I'm on the go 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 all summer with travel plans like that. But thankfully, care of makes taking your vitamins on the go 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 so convenient with individual packs that are perfect for travel. We're always har harping up, harp hyping or harping up, har hyping, hyping. Up, but we're also harping on. Uh -huh. We're hyping up and harping on these daily packs. Uh, the packs are made with plant-based compostable film that help limit the impact on the environment without compromising on the quality and safety of their products. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code BNC50. That's takecareof.com and enter code BANDC50 for 50% off your first care of order. Speaking of that thing, uh, did you see the Apple announcement this morning? They're like coming out with that, like a full VR headset now, and it's like you just really? put it on and it looks like ski goggles. Did they already have that? Apparently not, and it's $3,500. <laughs> they uh, had that already. No, Wait, they didn't. Wait, it's weird. You could see through it. And then I mean, that sounds cool to me. Like, you know what I mean? It's just on your face. I feel like we invented this. Oh. <laughs> I think that's what we're talking about. We said we proposed the idea for laying, I remember hearing about the projector. I want to be able to lay the, like this. The crazy Lamp. inventions guy yeah. did it or something. Yeah, right? Did, yeah, crazy inventions guy. I'm and, caught up on you guys. Yeah, Don't worry. That's, <sighs> that's really sweet, Grace. I, I <laughs> want, it, it'd be nice if I was like stuck somewhere tight like in the trunk of a car and right. i could still like scroll on my phone and not have to have my arms out i know mm. well i remember like one of my first memories of wanting a vr headset on my head was mm. <laughs> in, in like freshman sophomore year of high school playing softball my coach would like had these really intricate ways of telling us the plays like Mm -hmm. You know, like tapping all over, uh -huh. his, yeah. pulling his yeah, ear. Yeah, I remember and that I too. Remem it was so... I mean, I wasn't on your softball team, but I was on a different <laughs> no, softball team. No, but like any sport that uh -huh. had signs like yeah. that. And I was just like, I don't fucking know what you're saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if only I had like little sunglasses that could just tell me the play. Whoa, yeah. And or just tell me, it, it. tell me with your words. <laughs> <laughs> no, or that. Or use your words. Like, I was also just like, on a personal level, mm -hmm. so slow when it came to <laughs> running that, like, if he ever gave me the play of like steal a base, it was like you could just tell everyone mm -hmm. it's not going to make a difference. I'm going to get caught. Well, I don't know about you, but I was a flex player, <laughs> which means that, mean? that I was allowed in the field, but when it came up to bat, I would I, I was flex, so they would put someone else in for me. Wait, so we were my like hands are going to be really opposites. Cold. What were you? I was like designated batter a lot of the time. Oh, but they didn't put you in the field, so. Well, it was more so that I would be in the field, but as soon as I would get to first base, um, they would have someone run for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, you can just swap out? Yeah. They do that with the you best only, players, like, though. One or two player. They, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that was really the best. I think it was just their best option. Well, they could have just gotten have rid run. of you altogether, and they didn't. So true. Because you clearly brought something that. Yeah. I was a pretty heavy hitter, that's yeah. for sure. My softball we haven't We haven't had many heavy hitters on this set. Really? Hmm. That's good to know. I'm not a heavy hitter. Wait, Brooke, what position? N never did claimed you play? to be. I played second base wow. and well started at shortstop. Then it, I felt like that was too close. And then <laughs> second even base, though they're almost uh, in the exact same spot. Yeah. So yeah. then I felt like second base was too close. As totally, well, of course. Because I just f was scared it was going to directly hit me in the face. Yeah. And then I went out to the right field. Wow. But I was so good at catching those pop flies. I know. Isn't that the best? There is no better feeling than feeling oh, that God. going <laughs> going to your club. <laughs> you could just wouldn't it be nice? You wake up in the morning. You have a <laughs> cup of coffee. And then <laughs> someone goes, hey, get out there. <laughs> yes. You just catch one or two pop flies. Oh, my God. That would set you up for success <laughs> every morning. That's like a sad lamp, you know? Like yeah. when you set up like a little lamp in your face for depression. You guys know those things? Yeah. yeah. I got sick. Yeah, uh, basically, we could just do pop flies instead. That's so good. Instead of morning Pilates, like get, get me to a morning <laughs> pop fly class. 100%. Some yeah. ground balls. Yeah. Ooh, let me feel them. I yeah. have friends, like a lot <laughs> of friends that go and play catch. And I We're not talking about catch. Yeah, we're well, kind of talking about when you receive the flies, Connor. When you <laughs> when you receive the ball into your hand, that would be a catch. No, you don't get it. Did, you've clearly never played <laughs> softball. Was it? I've clearly never played softball. It's guess not what? catch if it's coming from a bat. One of your last episodes, you guys were talking about having like a vocab list up. Yeah. Yes, and I think that pop flies should go on there. 
Because I don't think Connor really knows what that uh, means. One guys, I know what a fucking pop fly is. <laughs> Clearly don't if you think it's as simple as a game you of catch. You guys are woman explaining softball to me on this end of the couch. Yeah. Sorry that we didn't. I'm confused. I'm confused. What's I know there's the obvious about? differences in baseball versus softball, and there's the ball sure. size. Sure. But like you, like men don't play softball until they're adults. Isn't that kind of weird? So yeah. Weird. Like you become an adult, and then you can join an adult softball league. I know. But no one in high school guys and don't play. I bet softball. there's a reason because there's a reason for everything. Let's Google it. If There's not mind. a reason for everything. Yeah, oh, that's true. But <laughs> no, God makes <laughs> everything happen. God for makes a no reason. mistakes, yeah. so that's on me. I, but I'm saying, okay, a high fly ball. Hit, uh, okay, so this is a, what a pop. No, but why is there so? Why do men only play softball in their old age? You know, instead of in high school. Why is there no youth? Why is there no youth softball? Men's league? softball, right? Because like as a as a as a young man, as a boy, totally. I played t-ball. Yep. And yeah. then I played baseball. Right. Yeah. There was no softball. Right. Why? I know, and it's like as young girls, okay. We played t-ball to kind to of baseball and then to softball. Yeah. Oh, really? There's we a have to really adapt. Oh, when did you do baseball? I did baseball probably in like first, second, third grade. Uh -huh. I believe was and now was that co-ed. Yeah, there was like uh -huh. one or two girls on the uh -huh. team. Interesting. It was kind of like guys. There's there's guys no girl behavior. Okay. There's that's... there's no answers. <laughs> this this is one of those oh my age God, old there's questions. There's zero results on Google. <laughs> Interesting. There's actually only about eight point nine million on results. Thanksgiving but... Day in 1887. No, that, that won't that won't give you the answer you're looking for. I, I, <laughs> well, I I'm actually just it. excited. I can that? read it. I read it, and it's it's nothing that would would help us out here. Okay. Uh, also, when men play softball in old age, they're just like lobbing the ball, the mm -hmm. pitcher, and you watch these little girls whipping their arms around. They're just absolutely popping their shoulders. Well, what out. what we figured out, out pussies into it. They were they're yeah yeah, and men can't <laughs> men can't do that. No, we really can't put our pussies into muscle. <laughs> we definitely we certainly can't put it into a softball. Pitch. Medically, I think that's what it comes down to. That we have our answer. The power comes from the pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've always pussy said power. That. Pussy, pussy power. power. Yeah. Um, I forget what I was gonna say. Okay. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Great. It came back for a second, softball, and then softball, pussy power, pussy power, softball, baseball, baseball, baseball. grown men, adult, blonde, adult blonde, popping men. your shoulder, adult blonde men. Oh, popping your shoulder. Once you hit our age, we've decided it's all. This is the age that we actually get an injury, and it. You I have know, to take it care of it. Oh. It sticks with you. Like yeah. it's it's no longer like oh I twisted my ankle, it's gonna be gone by this afternoon. Right. It's like I twisted my ankle. If I don't go get this treated, or if I don't ice it, like I'm stuck with a broken ankle forever. Yeah. I told you, twenty seven's the beginning of the end, medically speaking. Fuck yeah. I went and got a massage. Had to ask him to stop. <laughs> You're hurting my back, sir. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I didn't even. T I wanted to tell you guys about my massage. Oh, okay. Please. Oh yeah. So I usually get this woman. Okay. <laughs> and she never touches my butt. Uh huh. Whatever. Okay. This guy, fingers in my butt crack. <laughs> like more than once where I was like clenching. <laughs> Whoa. Like, go the far. guy on the boardwalk? Yeah. Well, there you have it. You go to a masseuse on the Venice boardwalk. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? And you're shocked <laughs> that his fingers are in your butt. That's really something. Hey, it's, it's an open air. That's like basically <laughs> the last place in LA I would go for a massage. Yeah. I watched him clean the table before I put my skin to skin <laughs> did you contact. you watch him clean his fingers? No, he had gloves on, Brooke. <laughs> Don't be insane. So wait, <laughs> can you, like, I'm just curious how his fingers were, were close to, like. So he's kind of, he's going from the side and i paid close attention because i was just like i need to like your senses were this, oh wait oh my god you haven't even gone to the the craziest part it's not even that he may have been taking it one step too far with my butt crack <laughs> maybe <laughs> but the thing that pushed me over the edge and i'm gonna go to the one across from him next time is <laughs> i thought he was gua showing my foot because he, I paid for the extra 10 minutes on my feet. And I, I peeked. I had my eyes closed. I peek. It was his fingernail. Oh. It was so long. It was like a gua sha. I had socks on. What? He was going. Felt really huh? good. And I had a sock on. He had a glove on. So no harm, no foul. But it was alarming to think that I'm getting gua sha -ed. Do you ever think that that's probably why he's grown his fingernails out? Yeah, no. Yeah. For that purpose? Yeah. He was really nice. I tipped him. He's but a human washer. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's the human gua sha. Yeah. Oh my god. Have you ever washed your face? Yeah. Did yeah. I mean, I, I, I've I done it like literally once. And I when I did it, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to keep this one up. Like, oh, that's it's, just, it's just not like a little kind of bit too much work to do to totally. yourself. It's like, guys, we have our flossing. We're brushing our mm-hmm. teeth. Oh, what more can I do at night? I'm exhausted. I, I need to see results on the first use or it's not a working that too. product. You also have to go hard. Yeah. Yeah. You, like these people like wash off. They're willing to really put some elbow grease into it. Right. And I'm not. Your face it hurts. Is it hurts a red little bit. After. Right. Yeah, it hurts a little bit. Yeah. yeah. One thing that happened to me this weekend is I was picking my nose as I do on this podcast set, which I haven't you today. See someone's comment. Someone didn't pick up on that and I that you pick your I'm nose. I'm not gonna too apologize. Often on the podcast? Or yeah. Every episode word for word. Wondering if there's been an episode where he hasn't. I've been really mindful Someone's of it. doing the work. Yeah. Yeah, to find that out. I'm like a guy that has nose hairs that like come out of my nose. I also think it's okay you do to or don't. Your nose. I, I, I do. We too, do Bernie. too. We're. we're I, I'm fine kind picking. of like come on. At one point, we were cavemen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we can pick our. We've like sure we close the, like we pee in bathrooms and stuff, but it's like let us just pick our nose. It's also, we have fingernails for a reason that th- those things can do what tissues can't. Yeah. I hate when people say just blow your Absolutely. nose. Absolutely. There's and, and guess what? what there's, there's, I can do with my There's not finger? a Q-tip for your nose. No. Oh, hate although there it. should be, and I've used hey, one. Yeah, multiple there's times. a natural Q-tip for your nose. Yeah. It's right here on my hand. Yeah. And I agree. And my w- number one hobby in the car, besides texting and driving, <laughs> is picking my nose. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and my car has zero tent on my windows, so it's like I'm in a fishbowl. And I forget that a lot of times when I'm wa- listening to my own podcast and picking my nose at a stoplight. <laughs> and I'm just like, going ham. That's the most at home I can feel. Mm-hmm. And then I look over and someone's just like, whoa. <laughs> That's when you honk at them. Hey, fuck you, fuck <laughs> you. Hey, what, what, get out. Um, it, yeah, so I, I'm going to work on it, but I also wash my hands a lot. So Yeah. Totally. I okay. think it's weird if you do, if you don't support that at this point. I don't. No, I'd be concerned to see someone's nostrils who doesn't pick their nose. Yeah. yeah. Ew. Hey. It's probably full of boogies. Yeah. Show me your nostrils if you're yeah. so high and yeah. nighty. Seriously, because I'm, or at least like maybe there's just certain people where it's like the boogers are not going to come out on their mm-hmm. own. Maybe some people's noses do work that way. But right. I'm going to need a scientist to tell me that. And we've never and claimed to be a science podcast, but we will step in. Mm-hmm. I, I have one friend with huge nostrils. Really? And he has a booger problem. And I'm always like, you got a booger. You got a booger. Wow. Yeah. They just fall out of his nose like that? No, they're just so visible. I Is think it's, not, it's probably not that he has a booger problem. It's just that there's more nose to have more boogers. More real Hopefully. estate. More real estate. Okay, I have a suggestion. Sure. Yeah. We've got... a a handful of minutes left. <laughs> I would love to do some pop culture stuff with yeah. you. Yeah. Because I love I love Grace's yeah, pop me culture too. takes. Great. Let's see it. Oh, okay. we forgot. We didn't do anything we wanted to. That's fine. We, actually we never do. This is like the fastest we've ever oh, fun. flown through here. But okay. Louis Capaldi has a statue? Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> he deserves it. I think we start with Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy. Okay. Oh, they've broken they up. They broke up this so morning. So this, this morning. This morning? Yeah. How do you know that? I, I, you know, I've got my eye on the pulse. Of, wow. Of them. Yeah. So Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy have broken up Twitter as of this morning. also said, like, they found out they weren't compatible. Like, you don't, <laughs> you don't say that is so weird. Ugh, I, random. You uh, guys, but haven't we all dated someone where, like, all of our friends are like, don't like do not <laughs> i have something to say sure and it's not gonna be well received yeah. by the masses why does she date like she's in high school because mm. i feel like every person she's dating is so public Define and then high school sure, dating like you us. date someone for like two months and then you break up and you're immediately she's like dating someone else or like yeah and it's like whoever's most popular most relevant or like homecoming king and then yeah. the like skater gets arrested and he's the coolest person in school now and she starts dating him well has she what was joe her longest relationship yeah i think that yeah. was like six or seven years i think she just is a relationship person she's like some just people just cannot be it. alone yeah and then some people are the opposite but it is but i was thinking i was also having <laughs> this <laughs> that up, by the way. Yeah, totally. and then the, you have some people there's nothing like talking to my girls and get to get some clarity <laughs> exactly. about relationships so some people do this but then other people just don't yeah Mm-hmm. Exactly, and that's the human experience. Whoa, that's really insightful. Yeah. yeah. Well, Grace, usually you have like an insight into celebrities. Yeah. And, like what? 
my it, take on on what like happened? Taylor is just yeah. like can she date someone who's not famous though that's how i feel about because she's Kardashian. literally billionaire yeah i believe she's like if not there she's like genuinely on the cusp uh-huh yeah. so like how could she date someone normal that- somebody that's like uh who's uh who did sophia richie 740 million oh yeah, yeah. date like some rich, rich rich guy's son someone's so some rich guy's son she should date a rich guy's son there she be did a, date a kennedy a kennedy yeah but he was so young yeah, he was like, that was a rich guy's son that story that was yeah. alarming what just the, the i couldn't figure it out never mind what nothing <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell okay. you after <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm like, sh- her dating Maddie Healy was like a, a fun cry for help. You know what I mean? I agree. Like I, you're. It was just fun. for I her. also think that if, I had a. I, it was kind of fun to watch as well. It was like watching right. a train wreck. Yeah. You couldn't look away because he's one of your crushes. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying that as if like you know him really well. Well, like, sometimes what I have to do is like when <laughs> I become like too obsessed, I put them in a space uh-huh. and just like kind of ignore them. So I've been doing that with, I've been doing that with him. Okay. God. Where I've kind of just put him in a box. Okay. Sure. And through, and through with a key. 100%. More so. Okay. But so I'm it's... interested in unlocking it now that this is done. Right. It was hard for you to yeah. stay in it when Taylor was getting in the way. A, a little. <laughs> yeah. And that's so understandable actually. Thanks Grace. I yeah, knew you'd get it. <laughs> I did um, see Taylor live by the way. Whoa. And Where? yeah, in New York, at, yeah, MetLife Stadium or whatever. Um, it was she's like um, insane. She really I would is. Love to she was so going. It was you? three hours, and nuts. she didn't stop. And I'm kind of like, uh, if any other musician wants to talk shit about her, they better be doing three hour concerts. I agree. Or I'll shut no the one fuck is, up. By the way, no one is. Um, were you seeing her here? Yeah, Did I you am. Already get tickets? Yeah, I actually think I do like her as yeah. much as I go back and forth. No, I like all of her. I don't so- like Taylor no. Swift. No, I know. No I'm, one's I'm ever said myself. that. I'm talking to myself. I love Taylor Swift. Me too. What's what I'm finding a little bit annoying is Taylor Swift fans. Yeah, of oh, course. Which yeah. is what I'll say. Which yeah. is basically like being like, I don't like 15 year old girls. <laughs> I, and that's not the group that I'm even referring. <laughs> yeah, I uh, guess it's Taylor it's, Swift fans in their 20s. The conspiracy too. And, and 30s and as well. And, the yeah. conspiracy theorist ones are. I mean, scary. the Gaylers are tough too. Yeah. The gay tailors. The, yeah, the, 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 the gay fan. The gay fans fan. who think that, yeah. I, I genuinely can, that's a that's the whole fandom. And I say fandom, not like, I love, I do love Taylor Swift and I would love to go see her live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have all my friends, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. I think the I Disney adults ticket. are ruining it for me, truly. Yeah. yeah. It's putting a bad taste a really in my point. mouth. It's and a really I feel like point. it's hurting her a little bit, but right. not, not, so not, not financially. Oh, yeah. They're like going to, Change the course of history with their their fan behavior. Right. Yeah. I also, think you should go if you can. I'm going to. I'm going to get a ticket for you. Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. have an extra one for you. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Well, that made that easy. Yeah, but I might. Sweet. I might not. So. And okay. <laughs> so we'll see. You should run for office. Really. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff Brooks say today. Well, it could be this or that. You sound like that. Oh, you haven't seen Veep. Have you seen Veep? No. Oh shit. It's out of me. It's There's a character in Veep that she hires to talk. To, to basically they have did you just say house was in veep yeah yeah he's one of her love interests julia louis Brit- as british or american what can american he do? Woo. what can he do oh he's so good in it mm-hmm. too and they fuck Doesn't each other me. rains out really and That's they show awesome. it not God, like julia louis dreyfus is so but... funny she really is i just saw that new movie with her i heard it's, you already it's saw really it really sweet yeah what's it called i hurt my feelings you hurt my feelings. you hurt my feelings yeah it's very good cute it's either i or you Hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah, it was really sweet. Um, I would recommend. You hurt my feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I love her. And I love, you know my favorite part about it? Hour and a half. As a movie well, should be. Hmm? Yeah, what do I need to take an Adderall before I go see a movie? No. Nowadays. Although yeah. I will say the best movie I've seen this year was John Wick 4. And it was over three hours. I thought long. you were gonna say Dune. And <laughs> no, no, no. And I didn't want it to be even a minute shorter. Really? Mm-hmm. I w- and I didn't know I loved murder so much. What is John Wick a murder story? Yeah, basically, he, I think he must have killed at least 150 people in that mm. movie. So he's bad. It was a bloodbath. He's good. He's, he's a vigilante. Like, 
It's not vigilante. It's not black and white. There's some families <laughs> that are like grieving after through that movie. You know, mm. we don't really get into that part. Mm. But um, it's a real story. No, no. Okay. Not. It's so weird okay. you said that because I just listened to the Smartless episode with Kanye Reeves on it. Oh yeah, it was really what good. Did you say? Keanu? Yeah. What yeah, did you say before, go. though? Con- <laughs> Kanye? I think I was thinking Caillou. Kanye. <laughs> Keanu? Keanu. Oh, I guess yeah. I never say his name out loud. Yeah. Um, You're only just typing it or writing it with a heart around it. Yeah. <laughs> I love him after listening to that. Like, yeah, I don't really cool. ever think about him. And then hearing him on that podcast, very cool. Right. You know he's 58 years old? Yeah. He's super nice. I've met he's him, like, actually. And was, I'm being dead serious. Whoa. When? At the Beverly Hills Hotel. When I met Jimmy Fallon. Oh, what? wow. What a night. Really fun. He was just taking pictures Dude. with all the waiters. Sorry. You're good. Were you a waiter there? <laughs> no. I When I say I met him, I meant I watched that happen. <laughs> <laughs> but he seemed really That's sweet. meeting. Yeah. Burke meets a lot of people. I, do. I, do. I, do. I mean, he basically followed you on Instagram then at that point. Well said. And yeah, I know he knew who I was. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> That's like yeah. when, I, when I saw Will Ferrell and Molly Shannon in at Blue Bottle and yeah. I made an illegal U-turn and parked in front of a fire hydrant to sit next to them and then panic ordered a baguette at Blue <laughs> Bottle because I didn't want a coffee and I mm-hmm. just peck, I ate a whole baguette next to them thinking maybe they'll look up. <laughs> they're, they're Afterwards, they're like, that poor guy next to us probably had no saliva left in his mouth after that baguette. <laughs> what am I, a pigeon eating a whole baguette? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I've met Will Ferrell too. Uh, oh. When? He goes to my gym. I, w- I would love oh, you guys to just keep one-upping each other. No, I didn't even see him, though. I just know that he goes to my gym. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Equinox, West Hollywood. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. home gym? Goes really early Will in the Ferrell morning. should have a fucking home I, gym. I'm telling you, that's the thing is, is that we're losing in our convenient lifestyles is the act of going and doing an activity. Because if everything happens at home, you order food, you order groceries, you watch a movie on Netflix, you have the home gym. What happened to doing things? And meeting new That's people. That's what he's trying to do. And following us back on Instagram. And follow me and like my video <laughs> while you're at it. <laughs> and come on my podcast. Oh, I miss Jody King. <laughs> <laughs> she misses you, girl. I'm so sweet. <laughs> Check your Instagram. She's all over it. That's one of those things where, like, we freely talk about Joey King on here. And I, s- there's been people that we've talked about that see the stuff that we say yeah. on here. And it's not a stretch because yeah, I did something really bad. She, she what? You, I'll tell you later. But you've I, done several I, things we've done on things here. that are, have have ended poorly. Oh, my, like about specific Me celebrities. Just her. Oh God, that's really hard. Mm-hmm. That's Let's really do really hard, and that shouldn't be allowed. No. It should be a really safe space. It should be. Yeah. So now I have to wa- I watch myself a little bit, just a little bit. Right. Yeah. Just like, just but also, eh. Eh. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta live your life. Yeah. Um I I'm really curious before we wrap up here, I would need to see what Luis Capaldi was honored with as a statue at his former <gasps> school. <gasps> no. <laughs> Actually that is a t- that is an art. That is a kind of art. Hey. No, I'm I'm being that serious. That is what no, like, I think it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a specific oh. style. I was like Crazy. Wait, I think that I think oh. it's cool, but yeah. like, <laughs> Wait, I really love it. Like, I'm being genuine, but it's so <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, yeah, man. I would kill myself. That's like, <laughs> wait, I actually one time got a DM from someone who like dr- does drawing similar to that. Wait, like, yeah, uh, wait, wait, no. no. wait, so wait, wait hang on. You got to pull your drawing up. Okay, because no, this way. girl was like, I drew this photo of you, and it's like. One half of the face. I don't know. It was like two years ago. I don't know if I could find. I I need to know if it was the same person. Okay, tell me the the profile of yours. Um, I think we'll be able to tell from like a style perspective if it was or if it wasn't the same person. (laughs) Um, it it really scared me. Says here, I drew you, and it's oh my god, is it the same person? Is it? (laughs) Is it? It's not, but it's so similar. You have. I'm telling you, it's three mouths. Style. That's the that's a biblically accurate fibula. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna find my mine is a charcoal drawing. Oh, it might take yeah. me. That's just a, um, that's the style. It's, I'll, I'll find it. and I'll send it to you guys. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to find it today. But it was really. Drawing. If I was on shrooms, this would make me cry. 
Yeah. <laughs> Same with Lewis's <laughs> statue. I know. Do we have a reaction from him? Has he said anything? He just announced today that he's taking an, an extreme oh. break from tour. So I wonder if that has something oh, to do with no. it. No. Oh, there's pain. Yeah, there's pain in his eyes. <laughs> Two thumbs oh, up. I, did, I thought it was just his face, his whole body. I don't know if I've ever confidently gone like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, he kind of does seem like yeah. a good thumbs up guy. Oh. oh, people have really not let him get away from Damn. himself. Damn. Well said. Yeah. And he's just, One day that'll be just, us guys at our high school. Just, <laughs> so true. <laughs> my high school will never acknowledge that I am alive. No, m- I had friends the other day ask me if I was going to our 10 year high school reunion. And I said, how would I have known it was happening? <laughs> right. And they said, your email I don't have an email uh-uh. from them. So that was a bummer. I, feel I unsubscribed. Th- I feel the same way. Also, I ran for class president <laughs> like uh, senior year, obviously, and I I did not win. I know. I could tell by the which, way you started mm-hmm. that sentence. <laughs> yes, by the way. And I realized recently that the class president of your senior year has to plan every correspondence that you have with your high school forever. If you like, oh. ten year, five year, ten year, everything. So I'm so, so ha- I don't know how they would enforce that. I think it's the honor system, yeah. sure. But the way that I would fake my own death to get out of planning the, my ten year <laughs> high school reunion. That would be really hard for you too. Yeah, that's <sighs> awful. Oh my god. I, I mean, I don't know. If I I'll think go. that's probably just your school. What do I mean? No, that no. sounds right to me. No, because Part I've me never heard like, that. Yeah. You think? I mean, someone has to plan it. And that it's not happened your at my my college. I went to my five year reunion last year. And um, the like president of my senior class like gave a speech and was like, thank you guys for all coming. I'm so excited for all the activities that we planned. She really had to do some stuff. Damn. Yeah. I think ours would more so be. Yeah. The, I mean, the class That's president. That's completely does the for case. Graduating class. Yeah. <laughs> I, Forever. I think as a prank, I would. Yeah, you'd have to like let a colony of bats go in the auditorium mm-hmm. with everyone there. I'd do laser tag. Okay, well, different <laughs> different strokes for different yeah, folks. Right. You know, I was never allowed in to play laser tag when all the kids had their birthday party. The laser tag place. Why? Because you had to be four eight. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That so I would is sit out. Right. I would sit out by myself. Well, you dodge a bullet because laser tag, as fun as it sounds, is probably one of the worst human experiences possible. The guns are always broken. Yeah. Uh, the the vests you're wearing are 50 pounds. And they, it's so they're hot. Stinky. Well, I would have liked to experience it and make Brooke, that decision. For it's myself. it's exhilarating. I will say it's exhilarating because you do have that fear. You're it's, like, yeah, you're it's for, so you're neon. forming alliances. It's pitch yeah. black. Yeah. But the thing is, double agents. If I was a double agent, I'm sure you were. Can't yeah. You can't trust me. But <laughs> guns oh never God, work. That's it always living. That's it. Living. Always smelled like bo because Guess everyone's it, yeah. wearing very yeah. berry. True teen spirit. Teen spirit, yeah. And um, I mean, the they, germs on those guns must be they, absolutely unparalleled. Oh, that's where COVID started. Yeah. Probably laser tag. Yep, I'm pretty sure. And it, they always pumped smoke into the ones yeah, I was at. Did. And I remember being like, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the way that the lighting is, like, it's not a dark room. They specifically, it's like black light. It's black light. So it's like, oh, no, my vision is going bad. Right. Like, yeah. I, you're going cross-eyed. Yeah. Yeah. And I then the laser's not totally. hitting. You're like, I swear I just, I swear I just leveled up. Put you in some platform sneakers, though, Brooke? I, I I don't think that would have even gotten me to 4'8". Really? I don't think How so. How tall are you now? Four, well, I say I'm five foot. Okay. But I'm really four eleven. But I'm really four ten and three quarters. Gotcha. I so at, but in these, at that age, which I wear every day, I'm totally. I'm I mean, I'm I'm a platform yeah. girl as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys? That just reminded me. Um, on Friday, we were going to this bar near where I live, and mm-hmm. one of my friends was in sandals because it was so nice out. We were mm-hmm. all just like out on the beach all day, as in flip flops. Flip flops. And it was a guy who's in flip flops, and I know everyone has very strong opinions on uh-huh. men and flip flops. Um, but he was in flip flops and we go to the bar and it's next to the beach. You'd think they'd be okay. They're like, can't come in in flip flops. And so I go into the bar and I ask my other friend, pop your shoes off. I'm going to tuck them in the back of my waistband and I'm going to walk out and walk back down the street and, and give them to him behind there. So I walk back, I walk out, I tuck them in my waistband and on my back and I walk back up and they let me on. They, they stop me and go, what the fuck is in your, what did you shove in here? What are you bringing in? I go, 
it's shoes for my friend. <laughs> you guys let him in when I went to put these in my pants back there, and I got to bring my friend his shoes back. He's in there in his socks, and they go, you're a really good friend. Oh, my God. And they let me back in. I was like, well, you guys are good bouncers for letting him in in his flip-flops, because one, no girls are going to talk to him in mm-hmm. there, <laughs> and yeah. two... He is inside, and now he can have a wow. beer. That's a beautiful story. That's so Thanks. sweet. Yeah. Well, it's really just like something else for them to discover that I have a second pair of sneakers in my waistband. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm sorry. I thought the flip-flops were in your waistband. No, tennis shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for the friends. Vejas, specifically. Did Ve- you say Vejas? Veja, Vejas. 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 Yeah, yeah, What did yeah. I say? I heard Vejas. Oh, I'm sorry. V. Vejas. Vejas. Yeah, I know yeah. those. Do you say tennis shoes or sneakers, Grace? I think I say sneakers. I had never heard anyone say tennis shoes before I moved here. Hmm. And Connor, you're from California, right? Con- yeah. Because you say... No? no, I'm not. I'm so sorry. I'm, You're not I, at all? I'm from Texas. Okay. I don't know why I all right. said, yeah. You can't trust the word. No, you now. really can't. Well, I was going to I was gonna do a bit, and then I was like, I don't know what she's going to ask, so no, Texas. Well, I was the reason I asked that is just because I've gotten a lot of shit in my adult life for saying sandals when I'm referring to flip-flops. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. people are like, you mean flip-flops? And I'm like, well, yeah, but those are the same as sandals to me. Well, my mom called, and my mom is from okay. so- Southern California. Thank you. Is calls them thongs still i was just so, about to talk about thongs. i have to That's be like so what badass. i don't know what you're talking I love about that. i have no idea you're why your thongs i'm I like didn't... no i don't actually i don't own a thong i didn't know why they were called thongs until the other day when i was wearing flip-flops and they were hurting my crack so bad <laughs> in my toes and i was like oh my god that's why you they're put it together that yourself. Is why they're called thongs because they're in your crack through pain yeah Beauty is pain. Beauty you is thought, pain. I felt this before. Yeah. But where? <laughs> Form over function. My grandparents call them thongs and they call Monday Monday. Yeah. And okay. they call crayons crowns. So I've heard that. Those are both pronunciations and one is a phrase. Huh? What do you right? Mean? Like Monday or like is Monday is Mundy. like a. It's not a phrase. It's a word. That's a pronunciation sure. of the word. Yeah. You're saying thong is just a different way that's to a say different, Just like okay. totally yeah, a different, a different word. I guess okay, so. well, I'm just making a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's Well, this is a podcast, yeah. after all. We got to do that. Yeah. Um, Personally, from a personal perspective, yeah. I have to pee so bad. Well, right? I was thinking, do you have anywhere to be, Greg? No. Maybe we could oh. make the, like a second half and make it tomorrow's episode does that make sense why don't we just have her stay for the bonus yeah come back grace do you want to stick around for bonus i think i would love to actually okay. i think i would really like and i that love as doing well. this podcast solo with you i i really like that too <laughs> kind of like kind of a chance to, for me to talk a little bit um but okay well grace cool instrument thank you so much for coming do you want to tell probably. people where they can find you you can find me on follow her on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram at G mm-hmm. and I have a new podcast with my friend Joe Castle Baker. Uh huh. Wherever you find podcasts, and that's it. I love Joe. How tall is Joe? Oh my God, six five. That's insane. Yeah, I'd love to meet. It's Joe. pretty. Dr- oh my God, it'll be really beautiful. When yeah, me and you're at his hip. Yeah, I would really like that. <laughs> I love being at people's <laughs> hips. Well, we'll Grace is staying for. Thanks both. for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. No problem. We'll see you in the bonus. This week on Close Friends. I feel like no one's talking about dandruff. The only science that has gone into dandruff is head and shoulders. No they one, gave up after that. You know how provide a little bit. percent chance I have wet, sticky earwax. What in the world? I don't. What's the alternative? Dry, flaky earwax. I think I have that. I caught witches holding a carcass eating ritual on my security camera. People have identified what witchery it is. That's why I like New York. Like, if I looked out my window and I saw, you know, those witches, I'd be like, well, at least 50 other people are seeing this yeah. too. It's not that crazy to see a witch in New York. No, it's not. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.